Hi everyone, what's up? I'm back with another PySpark coding question, which is commonly asked in data engineer interviews. The question I'm going to solve today is mentioned on the screen. I'm going to show you what this question is about and how to solve this. So please watch the video till the end. If you're interested in practicing more such PySpark questions, then you can check out the videos in the i button. And if you want to watch the entire playlist on different data engineering topics, then the link is present in the description. If you're new to the channel, then please push the subscribe button as it will help my channel grow. I post videos every week to help you clear your next interview. Also, if you found this video useful, then please click the like button and share it with your friends. Now let's get started with the video. So the question is, write a PySpark code to clean up the names by removing any special characters, example, at the rate, hash, star, etc. Additionally, normalize all the email address to lowercase. So here is my input data and in the name column you can see in each row, in each name, there is a special character in between the names like John, then at the rate, do, then star. So we have to get rid of these special characters. Now I have solved this question using rejects replace and I am going to not only explain you how to solve this question, but I am going to explain what everything in a pattern means. The link to this notebook is in the description so you can check that out. Try to solve this on your own or you can use it for practice purpose as well. Now let's move on to the solution. So for rejects replace, if you understand this pattern then you will be able to easily solve this question. So the pattern in order to you know keep only the alphabets and remove the special characters is this one. Let's try to understand what each of these symbols mean. So the first sign that is this inside square brackets, this symbol means negation. Uh, so it tells the rejects to match anything except the characters that follow. So all the characters after this symbol, the rejects will ignore these. Now moving on, let's understand what this means that is small a to small z and capital A to capital Z. This part matches any uppercase that is a to z or lowercase that is small a to z letter in the alphabet. Okay. Now, if I had included 0 to 9, then uh, after this, then it would also match, you know, 0 to 9 or any digits along with these alphabets. Moving on, I have this symbol, the last one. So this matches any white space characters, including spaces, tabs or new line. So this is the meaning of this entire pattern. Now, what I'll do is I'll create a new column, this cleaned name on top of my, you know, source data frame and apply the rejects replace. So what rejects replace does is it will replace a particular column based on the pattern that I have provided. So what I'm telling this telling rejects replace is from my column, if you find anything that is not, you know, uh, not alphabets or not this white space, basically the RAS character, then remove it with nothing. So this is, you know, a symbol of an empty string. So remove it with an empty string. Um, Okay, the second column was the second part of my question, which is very easy. I have to just um, convert the email column to lowercase. So this is how you can do it. But let's focus on the first one. That is the usage of the rejects replace. So once I display this, you can see all the special characters have been removed. So um, John Doe, there was a special character in between John Doe that is at the rate. So it is also removed. I hope you understood how this rejects replace function is working. But moreover, you need to focus on understanding these patterns. So that any type of pattern when it comes, then you can create it. Once you have this idea, then it will be very easy for questions where you have to use, you know, any patterns or any replacing mechanism. Many times you get a question from interv in interviews where you have to check if the email is correct or not, or the email is in correct format or not. For those questions, you have to use again rejects replace and you have to devise a new pattern for it. For now, this is all I have in this video. So the link of this notebook is in the description. Try to practice it at once. So that will make things more clear. So that's it for this video. If you found it useful, then please share it with your friends and like the video. In the coming few weeks, I, will, I have planned many such videos on PySpark and SQL interview questions. So stay tuned for them. And if you have not subscribed, then please press the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.